everyone and welcome back to I Put a Spell on You series. Ooh. Okay, so today, like last week, I promised you that I was coming back to this fabulous book, Hoodoo Honey and Sugar Spells by Deacon Millet. Again, you can get this on Amazon. There's the front. There's the back, so you know what you're buying. You're not buying the wrong one. So I found this um, spell since I do get a lot of clients who have issues with their baby daddies or baby mamas or whatever you want to call them. Uh, the parents of the children that are no longer in the scene and don't want to support their kids or, yeah, don't want to support their kids and don't want to be around. So. I found this little spell and all it requires is a piece of paper and you know I like my brown paper and a pen. So I'm going to read this. That's, that's message, see? That's spirit saying, yeah, somebody out there needs to hear this spell. Okay, so let me go ahead and read this right now. A loving father for your child. Many a single mother has found herself cursing the no good man who won't support his child. Sweetening the situation will help a man want to take care of his family. Catherine Yun Wode has a special petition paper for each such for such a case. Use the mama and the daddy names written nine times each side by side in two columns because they are no longer a couple, right? So we understand what that means. You're going to write the name going down once and when, you know, nine times down, nine times down. I will show you, okay? Uh, and the baby name are crossed over both, holding them all together. Now, it doesn't say them nine times, so either you could just put it once, but I would assume that you would put it nine times as well. I could be wrong. Um, I wish it would be more specific. I hate when books do that. Okay. And the baby name crossed over both, holding them all together. So maybe we'll just do it once. Okay. Then around and around the names write, we are family forever and always, and let no one put this family asunder. In the corners of the paper, she draws four eye shapes just the outlines with no pupils in the center inside each eye shape is a heart and inside each heart is a dollar sign the meaning of the symbol in each corner is god is watching you the eye shape so love the child the heart and pay the money the dollar sign and it doesn't say what to do with it so maybe you could put it in a honey jar if you so desire maybe you could just keep it in your home maybe hang it above your door my first thing was maybe hang it above the door i don't know so let's get to this all right so we're just gonna we're just gonna make this up as we go meaning we're gonna put jane doe jane is now pregnant all right so jane or had the baby jane doe jane doe Jane Doe. Okay, so now I'm going to write, I kind of wrote that a little bit too close to the edge. It's okay, whatever. Because um, <laughs> I have to write around it, remember? Okay, so now we're going to write the man's name going down this side. John Doe. So now we have it like that. Okay, now we're gonna put the name of the baby. So we're gonna write the name of the baby, Baby Doe. I'm gonna write it kind of big. <laughs> so we have Jane Doe, John Doe, and Baby Doe connecting them. And now we're gonna write around whatever this book said that we need to write. So we need to write, we are family. We and I'm our family. I'm writing in cursive because it's just easier. We are family forever and always. All right. <laughs> 
uh, and let no one put this family asunder. Okay, so now I wrote that around without lifting my pen. You want to try to keep your pen on your paper, write it in a clockwise motion. That's just an old like hoodoo thing. So write that speech around again, what you're going to write. We are family forever and in all ways and let no one put this family asunder, A-S-U-N-D-E-R. In the corners of the paper, you're gonna draw four eyeballs. Well, I did not leave much room, eh? So they're just the shape of the eyes. Okay, I, 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 I. And in the eyes, you're gonna put a heart. Okay, so it shall look like that. And inside the heart, if you remember, you're gonna put a dollar sign. Okay guys, so that's it. And the meaning behind it is uh, the symbol in each corner is God is watching you, so love the child and pay the money. There you go. So what I would do is you could probably anoint this with maybe some crown of success or maybe some love oil, maybe keep it somewhere. I would say if you want to bring it into your home, hang it somewhere, or you could maybe put it, fold it to you. You know, you always want to fold everything like to you. And then maybe you could put it in a jar of honey. I don't know. Just go with your gut. There is, there's, it doesn't say. So in these type spells, you have to go with what calls to you because whatever calls to you is ultimately what spirit is telling you to do. I hope you enjoyed this spell. Super easy pen and paper. It's all about the wording, binding together, and hopefully the piece of shit will pay for the kid that he created. Alrighty guys, many, many, many blessings to each and every one of you and